Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how to make logic gates in OpenPLC. Now, let's get started with the video. First of all, you will create a new project and add a new folder. Then, you will name the folder. I will name the folder as logic gates and I will press enter and I will select the folder then I will edit the POU name as program first then I will edit the language as letter diagram and I will press enter and then our first gate is not gate now, how the NOT gate works is that you have an input and an output. When the input is 0, the output will be 1. And when the input is 1, the output will be 0. As you can see, they are exact opposite. The input and the output. First of all, to make the letter diagram of a NOT gate, I will add variables now the first variable will be input 0 and the type of it will be bool and second I will create output 0 and type of the variable will be bool. Now I will add two power rails first and the pin number I will create 10 on the left side and you will also add an another power rail on the right side. Now I will try to align the power rails for the sake of it Then I will add an input. Now I will modify the input as negated, which is a normally closed contact. I will adjust. I will adjust block size. Now I will join the pins, and I will add an output. I will adjust the block size of the output and I will try to join the pins together and then I will start the simulation. Now the simulation has completed and I will click on the glasses to debug it. Then after I will show you the output and the input. Now let's see again the NOT gate. When the input is false or 0, the output will be true or 1. If I modify the output, sorry, if I modify the input to true, the output will be false. As you can see on the gate, if the input is 1, the output is 0. Now we have created the first gate which is a NOT gate and let's head on to the second gate. Now our second gate will be an OR gate. In an OR gate you have two inputs and one output. When both of the inputs are zero the output will be zero and when any one of the input is one the output is 1 and when both of the inputs is 1 the output will also be 1. Now let's start making the letter diagram of an OR gate. First of all I will create some variables and I will create 
an output here. Now I will add the contact and adjust its size. Thereafter, I will copy the input and paste here and double click on the input and edit it as input second. Thereafter, I will add a coil output first and I will adjust its size. Now I will try to connect the pins okay and I will put the input second in parallel. Now I will start the simulation. Now the simulation is completed and I will try to debug the program. First of all, let me clear this. Now I will show you the output of the OR gate and the input. Now, as you can see, the OR gate, when both of the inputs are false, the output will be false. And you can also see in the letter diagram when both of the inputs are false, the output is false. When I modify any one of the input to true, the output will go to true. Now, you saw when I modified any one of the input to true, the output will go true. Or if I modify both of them to true, the output will also be true. Now we have also created the letter diagram of the OR gate. Now let's head over to the next gate which is an OR gate. I'll stop the simulation here. And I will drag this down a little bit. Now I will add. First of all, let's see how an OR gate works. In an OR gate, it's also as same to the OR gate. There are two inputs and one output. But when the input is false, the output will be true. And for any of the input, of how both of them to be true, the output will always be false. Now let's start adding the variable to for the input and add a variable to the output. Now I will drag this up and add two inputs first, three and I will adjust the block size, copy and paste it. And input four. Now I have created two inputs. Now I will add an output. Now I will adjust the size then I will start joining the pins. Now I will edit both of the inputs for NOR gate to be normally closed. Now I will join the pins. And I will put the two input in series and both of the inputs will be normally close contact. Now I will start the simulation. Now the simulation is completed and I will debug or click on the glasses. After that, I will show you the letter diagram and I will also show you the 
output of the NOR gate and input of the NOR gate. Now let's see again the NOR gate when both of the inputs is false the output will be true and when any one of the input is true the output will be false and when both of the inputs is true the output will be always remain false now this concludes our video thank you for watching